Hello, everybody. Welcome to another lightning round where we take much longer than my normal videos to do stuff, but I call that a lightning round anyway. Today, we're going to quickly go through setting up a generic character. So I've got here in the scene a player, and it's just a standard player. I haven't done anything to it. I made it a little bit shorter because it wasn't fitting through my doorway when I was playing around before. And we have here, so we've got the generic mannequin, generic mannequin animator, and no state set. And if we look in the mannequin, we can see that it uses the standard locomotion for game creator and the mannequin avatar. Now, what we are going to do is replace this with this cat. And if we come down to prefabs animals here, let's pop the cat into our scene. So we've got cat here, which is a poly perfect something something cat from their giant pack of low poly animals. Because for some reason Melba's doesn't have a cat, or at least not a not a little kitty cat. All right, we don't need an audio source on it, so we're gonna fuck that off. And we don't want any of their scripts, so we're gonna get rid of all this crap. Don't want it to have a nav mesh agent. I don't want a character controller. I don't want nothing. So, having got rid of all that, we're just going to update this prefab. So, all that is now gone. So, now we can see we've just got the cat with its normal animator and the cat avatar. Right. So, ideally what we want to do is drop this into this. So, if we come up here and go into our animation, we can see drop a 3D model. If I drop it in here, we're going to have some issues. If we press play, we see that our cat doesn't really do anything. It's just sitting there playing its, its generic animation controller, which is not at all what we want. So, first thing we want to do is we can get rid of this kitty cat now, if we want to. We want to come up here into our cat that's inside our game controller player, and we want to change this to... GC's Complete Locomotion Controller. Now, this is going to cause a new problem. The cat won't animate at all. And that's because the GC Animation Controller is only set up for doing a human animation. And obviously, this is not a human. There's a couple of ways we can fix that. We can either go into the Locomotion Controller and we can make a copy of this and we can come in here and we can change the animations in these, which is ideally, I would, if I was making a full game, I would actually do that. I would, I would duplicate the animation controller. But if you're just doing a game jam or you're just messing around or something, the easier way to do this, um, I think, or the less destructive way to do this, you're less likely to make a mistake, is to create a state. So we'll come in and we'll say, Game creator, character, uh, we can go any state really. I'm going to go complete locomotion state just so I can describe a couple of things. So we've got a complete locomotion state here. We'll just call it cat loco. And we can use this as our state. And you can see in here we have a ton of different options. And just to quickly go through it, so you've got 16 point locomotion, basically. It's not really 16 point, it's 8 point locomotion twice. So you've got an idle animation, fast movement, slow movement, which you might use for crouching, say. Then you've got these crouches, and what the crouches actually are is landing animations for when the character jumps. So it's not a crouch at all. And that's why I say you might use your slow animations here as your crouch animations. Then you've got your on air, so when the character is falling, It'll play this animation, basically. Do you want to use the humanoid breathing and twitching from Game Creator? Obviously, this is a cat, so that's not going to work anyway. Do you want to have an avatar mask? So do we want to mask off part of the animal? Again, since this is not a humanoid, we're unlikely to use that for anything unless we're doing a bird or something and want to have its wings flapping for flying and its body doing something different. And the entry clip and exit clip are when we first enter or exit this state, what do we do? So you can use those for things like 
drawing a weapon, say, if you're going into a weapon state, or you can use them with something like this, the entry clip, you could put the cat lying down. And if I remember right for this animal, uh, I think they were in Meshes Animals Cat. So if I put this cat sleep in the entry clip, I think, oh, I haven't actually assigned the state. Uh, we need to go into player, come back down into our animation here, grab that state that we created, cat loco, and we'll put that in the start state. And if I remember right, I believe this cat should start laying down and then stand up. Okay, the animation is actually the cat lying down, not the cat starting lying down. So you see it did play the, the animation. So if it was actually an animation of the cat sitting there sleeping, then the cat would sleep and then stand up. Um, and it did have a sleep animation. So go back here to our cat. Which one did we, oh no, we did use cat sleep. So that was obviously cat going to sleep as opposed to cat taking a nap. What else have we got? Cat sit, cat stand up. Let's try cat stand up, eh? Oh, there we go. So cat stand up is the one we want. So if we put that, come back to our cat, cat stand up. If we put that in as our start animation, or as our entry animation, our cat will start, in theory, what? You're making me a liar now, cat. What are you doing? That should have worked. I don't know why that didn't work. I'm just going to carry on because I don't care. Um, so anyway, what we need to do is basically fill out the rest of this locomotion controller. Now, for this cat, we don't have a lot of these animations, but that's okay. We can just use the ones we do have. So we put our idle in here, and then we've got run and walk. So in our fast, we're just going to put the cat run. And you just put the same same one in all of these if you want to. Run, 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 run. Run. Couple more runs. And then as slow, we'll put the walk. Now you'll only ever see the walk animations if you're using a controller or some sort of analog control because this will only take effect if the uh, model is moving slowly um, and you can't do that with keyboard controls. It's only got yes or no with keyboard controls. In the crouch, I would ideally have some sort of crouching animation. Um, that lying down animation maybe, um, but there really isn't anything appropriate there. Um, so what I might just do is put the walking animations. So when the cat lands, it just walks. Um, and this is where, you know, having models from assets that you don't have, you know, you can't make more animations for them. Assuming you don't know how to make more animations for them. It's actually pretty easy to make a, a sort of crouching animation of this type. You just kind of need to move the spine down a bit and have it look like it's bouncing a little. Oops, I clicked off my thing there. I'll just lock that window so I don't do that again. And we'll just again just keep filling this out with the walk animation. And then maybe for our... Um, you don't actually need an out animation or an in animation at all. Um, but you can have them. So for our out animation, if it were ever to play, let's put the sleep there so the kitty goes to sleep when it's done. And... The air animation, again, there's no, oddly, no jumping animations at all here. So I'll put the attack animation there. We'll see what that looks like as a jump. And now, if we come back here, just to show you, uh, I locked that, so silly me. Uh, so we've got a mannequin cat animator and our cat loco. So that's all the animations we just put in. If we play now... Our cat's just going to play that run animation because that's the only animation it really has and I haven't built in a jump so we can't jump anyway um, so you see it looks a bit funny because you know we don't have any 
uh, turn animations or anything like that. That's just a limitation of the, the animations we have access to for this model. But that's how easy it is in Game Creator 2, or even Game Creator. It's it's pretty much exactly the same process in Game Creator 1 as well, um, to just, you know, put in a generic creature. Um, obviously, things like foot IK are not going to work. You can see there it's stopped moving, so it's gone into its idle state. And again, if I press play, it'll start off in that idle state. It should, as I say, it should start off in the in the resting state, but I don't know why it's not. Uh, maybe I've done something different to last time I used this. Um, and then it may or may not walk up that. And I've got my door set to open. Oh my God, the cat opened the door. It's crazy. Um, so that's basically how you do it. Uh, ideally, now you also want to come in and obviously cat's not 1.7 meters tall. If you make it like 0.5 or something, maybe even 0.4 for this cat. Um, that should be about right. If I get rid of that and we put that to play focused so we can see both at the same time, you can see that the that the uh, box there just falls down onto the, or the, the collider there just falls down onto the animal. So you don't need to worry too much about setting those things up so that it looks right in the editor. Um, the only the only issue you have there is if the, you wanted the cat to start in a tight space, um, you may not be able to fit the whole collider in there. So you, you can get some issues, but for the most part, that will work fine. You can still do all your gravity and speed and all that stuff. Um, I would always as well turn all this off. There's no point wasting animation cycles or anything on any of that crap. Um, look at targets not going to work and the footsteps are not going to work. So all that stuff, you might as well turn all that off. Um, so those are the lean IK. So basically all the IK stuff just turn off and turn off the foot stuff as well. Because again, that's not going to work. Uh, the ragdoll's not going to function, but we can't actually disable that. You can build a skeleton. So if I come in here and we look at the skeleton, um, how do we see that in the window? Because it should look kind of hilarious. Um, there will be a, <laughs> will be parts of the skeleton somewhere, these big red blobs. But basically, this thing doesn't have a skeleton, so it can't ragdoll or anything like that. Um, at the moment, that really makes not much difference in Game Creator, so I wouldn't worry about it. You can come in here, and you could create your own skeleton and delete all these humanoid ones, and then go in and you can manually add your own. So if you want to come in you have to, you know, make a capsule and you're making a whatever and you have to know the exact path to it. So you'd have to actually come in here and say, this is blah, blah, actor, root path, blah, 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 and then size the bone manually and stuff. So when that becomes important, hopefully we will get a tool. Um, it does humanoids automatically and it does a reasonable job of doing humanoids automatically. Hopefully we will get a tool that does generics automatically as well, or automatically with some guidance, um, because I've done one character manually and it was hell. Uh, so not fun at all. Uh, but for now, don't worry about that. Um, and that covers it. That's, that's pretty much everything. If you want to take it further, I would recommend using something like Fim Possible Creations. Um, I've got a bunch of them already installed in this project. Their tail animator, I'm going to use their spine animator, and I'm going to use their foot placement as well um, to get all those IK, fu IK functions um, that we can't. Oh, there's the there's the skeleton. <laughs> looks looks amazing, doesn't it? Um, so to get all that, that functionality, foot placement and stuff back in, I'm going to use all of or a bunch of impossible creation stuff just to get this cat to have some more movement and the foot placement. Um, so there you go, a long video because I'm not editing this one. Have fun.